That's the high airplane ticket price that had been complained by a lot of parties had occurring some consequences. One of them is the decreasing trend of hotel occupancy rate. And to have a deeper view, we better check the first slide. This is the trend of hotel occupancy comparison from 2018 and 2019. If we see in February 2018, the index or the level of hotels occupancy was on 56.2%. 1%, but on the same month, but different year in 2019, the uh, level of hotel occupancy uh, decreasing to 52.44%. The same uh, situation also happened in uh, uh, another month, such as March, April, and May 2019. Hotel transactions and hotel occupancy in Asia Pacific this year are predicted to grow by up to 15 uh, percent. However, in fact, the hotel business in Indonesia in the first quarter in 2019, the occupancy rate actually declined. Indonesia Hotel and Restaurant Association stated that the decline in hotel occupancy occurred since January 2019 ago. In addition, the industrial sector is also affected by the high price of expensive airline tickets. However, the highest impact goes to tourism sector. The weakening trend in hospitality sector doesn't stop industries player in improving its manpower skill. The next slide will be about the index of the country's human resources index in tourism. We're going to see the effectiveness of it. Um, Indonesian effort to, you know, to uh, improving the human resources um, index. Uh, if uh, you see the um, data, actually Indonesia is sitting in the uh, level or in the lowest level compared to the other countries such as Philippines, Thailand, uh, Vietnam, Malaysia and Singapore. Even the hotel occupancy in Indonesia is lowering as the airfare is still uh, skyrocketing. But one thing that Indonesian hotels keep consistent about it is the um, hospitality that they uh, offer through their human resources improving uh, the skills of local human resources is important for the sustainability of long-term investments however indonesia hr performance in the tourism competitiveness index is still on the 64th position of the world and ranked as number six in asean region this is what it said in the travel and tourism competitiveness report in 2017 and how about the growth uh, of the world tourism index we're going to see the next data actually um indonesia is on the level or in the position or, or number nine. The first one is China, U.S., uh, India is on the third position. We've got Mexico in the fourth position, U.K., Spain, uh, Turkey, Canada, Indonesia, and of course the last is um, Australia. The potential for tourism development in Indonesia is quite large, especially when referring to tourism growth performance. Data from the World Trade Tourism Council, which places Indonesia in the top nine in the uh, world. Tourism in Indonesia is a sector that has an important position for economic growth and community empowerment. If you look at the data in 2015 to 2019 tourism development goals, the National Development Planning Agency, or we call it BAPANAS, targets the tourism sector sector's contribution to the GDP to reach 8% with a target of 275 million tourist arrivals in 2019. And how about the travel booking trend recently? Let's see the next data. This is the travel booking portion based on a device used um, desktop. 49% uh, in 2017 and 2018. Um, the um, you know, the travel booking portion that had been um, conducted through the uh, desktop, 43%. But in mobile, as you can see, uh, the number of the trend was increasing from 50, uh, uh, 52 in uh, 2017 to 57 in 2000. And 18. Good traffic in the Indonesian hospitality sector, of course, related to the fact that now it is easier for us to book a hotel. The convenience comes from the use of online travel bookings in Indonesia. Also, it is in line with the digital transformation that is happening globally. Travel and tours operators are increasingly making adjustments to the flow of digitalization in the service industry. The survey involved 2,905 respondents spread across 
Sumatera, Java Island, Kalimantan, Sulawesi, Bali, and Nusa Tenggara, and Papua, and of course Maluku. As a result, 81.47% of respondents stated that they use online channels to plan trips. Some of the travel applications uh, used are Airy and then Traveloka, Ticket.com, Pegi Pegi, Agoda, and Booking.com. Most of them use two different travel application services. And how about the comparison in income trend of online travel booking between U.S. and Indonesia? Let's see the next data. Okay, the uh, difference is quite large. It, uh, in United States, the uh, booking income via travel online reaching 99 million U.S. dollar. But so far in Indonesia, we only have 4.29 million US dollar. Good traffic in the Indonesian hospitality sector of course related to the fact that now it is easier to, uh, for us to book a hotel. The convenience comes from the use of the uh, online travel bookings in Indonesia also. It is in line with the digital transformation that is happening globally. Travel and tours operators are increasingly making adjustments to the flow of digitalizations in the service of industry. Uh, the survey had been conducted in, in some uh, islands in Indonesia. We kind of hope for the best for Indonesian tourism. And stay tuned on Market Headlines because we'll be right back after the break. <laughs>